First, let's learn something about the phone. The Mid J3 Pro packs a 5.7 inch 90 to 9 advanced in cell notch 4 screen display, which provides an immersive reading experience. So, let's take a look at the screen. The screen is not too bad. So, if you want to watch a movie, this phone is just perfect for you. Second, the camera is a big thing. One of the main selling points of the phone is the dual camera setup 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel. The phone can take some decent photos at daylight, even sometimes at night. Just take a look at these photos, samples. They are impressive. Third, the phone has an innovative triple slot design. It provides a dedicated micro SD card. So compared with other traditional budget smartphones, this one gives you a better choice. You no need to sacrifice one SIM card to increase the memory. So. You can add many apps, photos, videos, just as you want. Fourth, the performance of the phone is not bad. Using the search internet, listen to music, watch a movie without any lag. You can play some games, even the most popular PUBG game. The phone is competent for using in most of cases in your daily life, so there's no worry about the performance. Fifth, the material and design of the phone are quite good. The Mini J3 Pro uses 2.5D curved glass with metal frames, but this material is also used for an iPhone. The phone itself looks like an artwork. It looks more cheap. So while you take this phone, you will feel it's premium. So I would like to have summarize the Yumi DJ A3 Pro. The notch screen is quite good. The camera and the performance are not bad. The material and design of this phone are even better than expected because you can't buy a better smartphone in this price tag. The Yumi DJ A3 Pro even supports global bands. You will have 4G VLTE in your own country. The face unlock is quite good. The Android 8.1 is out of the box. So I would like to suggest have a try this phone if you are looking for a budget phone in good value. Hope my experience will help you in choosing a better